So in this video, I'm gonna show Colleen how the Metro works, but specifically, is it easy to use? Is it safe and does it get you to all the places you would want to go to? And at the end, I'm also going to tell her about the RER, which is the Express Suburb Strain, and which are the best apps to use when you're in Paris to make your life easy. On y va? On y va, let's go. Let's go. One of your questions was, is the metro safe? So the answer is yes, it's very safe. There's actually guards and police everywhere and there's also cameras everywhere. And Paris is famous for pickpocket. So what you want to do is make sure that you have everything on the inside, that everything is zipped up. So keep your stuff, your belonging with you at all times, all zipped up in front of you. So here is the machines that you're going to have at every single station where you can buy your tickets. It's actually very easy. They're all in multi-languages. So English, Spanish, Dutch, Italiano. So you just click on English, it's touch screen. And then it says you don't have a Navigo Pass, which is probably your case if you don't have one. Press on that, right? And then you have all the options, right? You can buy a ticket, you can buy a ticket for the Paris region, you can buy airport tickets, you can buy visit or mobilis or more ticket. The mobilis is for uh, passes if you're gonna be here like two to three days. You wanna get that because it's an unlimited pass, but it's seven uh, euros and 90 cents a day. And then you have the Navigo, but this is gonna be if you're gonna be here seven days and over, like, and you're gonna be using it a lot. So what I recommend is to actually buy a ticket T plus, which is this one. And then it's full fare, unless you're below 10 years old. And then you can buy one ticket or up to nine, but the best deal is to actually buy one booklet of 10 and it's 1690. So a full ticket is 190. And if you buy 10, well, it's huge reduction. So I'm gonna validate. Total payable is 1690. I can pay with coins here. You can put your bills here or you can put your credit card, which is what I'm gonna do. You put your credit card all the way in. It's gonna ask me for my PIN code. All the uh, European machine ask you for a PIN code. Told me that my code is good. Yes, I want a receipt. And then now it's gonna give me the tickets right below that little thing here. This is where my tickets are gonna come out. All right, there they are. All my ticket, all my 10 tickets are right here. And here is my receipt. Okay, no, I have my 10 ticket, I have my receipt. I'm gonna put this in my pocket and we're good to go. Put your ticket here. It comes out right here. You pick it up and you go through the turnstile. All right, so in the Metro, you're gonna have these maps everywhere. They're gonna tell you where to go. And then I know it can be overwhelming when you're looking at it, but actually every single Metro line is numbered and color coded. When you're traveling in the metro, you need to know uh, two things that are really important. The first thing is the direction that it's going into, or the end line, and then the number of the line, which is, for example, this one is number four, and it's going to Port Tignancourt. And then if you follow the line all the way down, like that purple line, which is the number four, you know, all the way down, you're gonna see that it ends in Mairie de Montrouge. So you know the end, and you know the beginning. That's really the most important. And there's going to be a whole bunch of stations in the middle, some that are going to interconnect with other lines and some that are just gonna be a pit stop. The way to recognize them is actually very easy. You can see like there is a white dot that actually is a line that changes with another one, right? Crisscross, so you can actually see it, but there's the little white line. And if it's a full color, that means that's it. That's just a station. It just, there's no interchange right there. Now there are four lines that are really important in Paris. There is a line number one, which is right there and it slices Paris basically from east to west. And there is line number four that slices Paris north to south. So there is an odd line here, which is line number eight. So this one goes from the southwest of Paris to the southeast of Paris and it slices through like that. And it goes through some major attractions as well. And the last one is line number 12, this one, right? So it's four, one, 12 and 8. These four lines are going to take you to all the major attractions that you would want to see in Paris. So what you have about the metro station, oftentimes is you have a sign like that and it'll tell you when is the next metro coming up. In this case, it says it's two minutes. Now all the trains will have a map of the line above the door like this. And again, the stations with the white dot are where you can switch to another line. 
and the full dots means no connecting lines at this station. Not all metro doors are the same. Uh, some have a handle that you need to lift to get out and some open automatically. So when you get out of the train, sometimes you have the exits all the way on one end or all the way on the other end or sometime in the middle. So what you want to make sure of is that you pay attention to which exit you need to go to. So for example, if you're looking for the catacombs, look for the exit sign that says catacomb or sacre coeur and uh, then follow those exits. So this is how it works. What you're looking for is you're looking for that. Sortie means exit. Yeah, one of the things that is true in Paris is there's a lot of stairs everywhere. So wherever you're going, expect a lot of stairs. Yeah, wear comfortable shoes and uh, not ideal for people with limited mobility. So I see we just went a flight of stairs. We're gonna go through a lot of platforms and guess what we have again? A bunch of stairs. Now, Colleen, you asked me about the RER and this is the map of the RER. And as you can tell, it's much larger because the RR is designed as a train that is going to collect all the uh, the suburbs, the out, outer bands of Paris and all the suburbs and is going to slice through Paris. You can take the RER as long as it's within the city limits with your metro ticket. You cannot go all the way to Charles de Gaulle, all the way here to Charles de Gaulle with a metro ticket. You need a special ticket for that. But if you take the RER within the zone, within this white zone right here, which is where the metro is, which is the city limits, and the RER, which are usually, instead of being like 16 stops from one end to the other, is actually four stops, so it's a faster way to get into it, you're allowed to use RER interchangeably in Paris with the same ticket. There is one main important line that you need to know about the RER, is the B line, right? The RER B, which is gonna connect Charles de Gaulle is going to go through Paris and is going to go all the way down to Orly. One thing that is important about the RER is in Charles de Gaulle, it actually is in Terminal 2 Concourse E. And that RER will take you all the way in the center of Paris, which is Gare du Nord. Same is true for Orly, the RER. But what's different with Orly is you all have to take a shuttle from Orly to the station Anthony and an Anthony RERB it goes all the way to the center of Paris. So Chapelet Leal, Gare du Nord and whatnot. And you also have Disneyland here, which is accessible with the RERA, which also goes right smack in the center of Paris. So that's basically what the RER is for. So the first app to use, which is the easiest one, which everybody has already on their phone, is Google Map. So I have a station right here. If I click on the station, Réaumur Sébastopol, which is this station, is telling me that there is line three and line four that are crisscrossing. And if I zoom out, it's gonna show me where it's going and I can zoom in closer and I can see all that. It's already inside the app, there's nothing to install. And I think this is one of the easiest app to use. And if you don't wanna install another new app on your phone, this is a great one to use, Google Maps. The second one is Bonjour RATP, which is the French app for the metro system. So where do I want to go? I want to go to Denfer Rochereau, which is where the catacombs are. I'm going to click on this and it's going to look from my current location and it's going to tell me I need to take line four. It's going to take me 22 minutes. It also is going to tell me if I want to walk, it's going to take me 52 minutes. If I want to take a bike, 23 minutes. If I'm going to take a taxi, it's going to take me 34 minutes. There's even a map of the metro. So you can click on it, you can zoom in, zoom out, and have all that. It's also a great app and it's free. One of the things that is great with this one is you can put your current destination. You can also put, for example, I wanna go to Notre Dame. You just put that in there, right? You click next. It already knows that that's the station and it's gonna tell you how to get there if you take the train. Line four, it is going to take you 13 minutes and traffic is slowed. By the way, the app is in both French and English, so it makes it super easy for you. And the third app, which is also great, is City Mapper. Now, City Mapper is the type of app you want to have if you go in a lot of big cities like New York, London, 
because it works everywhere. It's an international big city and it's got uh, you know all the data that you want to have. Same thing here. I want to go to Denfer Rochereau where the catacombs are. I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me all kinds of information in terms of how to get there if I want to walk, if I want to take the metro, if I want to take a scooter, if I want to ride the train. If I click on that, it's going to take me as line four. It gives you a little bit more information, but that's, I'm going to say use City Mapper if you go to a lot of big cities on a regular basis. Otherwise, use Google Map or Bonjour RATP if you're going to be staying in Paris for an extended period of time. So thank you so much for uh, spending time with us. By the way, we did a couple of videos, one on the best desserts in Paris and uh, one on the best restaurant in, uh, in Saint-Germain. Uh, if you have any requests uh, for a video that you'd like us to do, just make sure to put it in the comments. And uh, please make sure to uh, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. And until next time, au revoir. Au revoir.